Hello, I'm Mark Krieger, President of the American Heart Association, and we're in beautiful New Orleans, the site of the American Heart Association's Basic Cardiovascular Sciences 2015 Scientific Sessions. And the theme of the sessions this year are Pathways to Cardiovascular Therapeutics. And I'm joined by the co-chairs of this year's program committee, Drs. Tony Rosenzweig, Osa Gustafson, and David Leffer. Tony, this is a terrific meeting, the, the meeting that you have planned together. Tell me some of the exciting things that you're, you're expecting this week. Well, thanks, Mark. Um, so one of the things that's new that we put together for this, uh, this year's session, as you mentioned, the topic is Pathways to Therapeutics. And so we thought something that would be really exciting to do would be to bring in industry leaders from the pharmaceutical industry, from biotech, and even from venture capital to help build collaborative bridges because we know to really move any of this forward, we're going to need to work closely with, with industry partners um, to really take something all the way from bench to bedside. So in a special session, uh, what we're going to hear from them is really what they're looking for in new therapeutics, how they evaluate potential targets and leads, and how they then move that forward over time so that we can learn better how to partner with them to develop new therapeutic options. Oh, that's terrific. In fact, building powerful partnerships is one of the guiding values of the American Heart Association. David, you have a, an exciting keynote speaker this year, Eric Olson. Absolutely, Mark. We're delighted to have Dr. Eric Olson from UT Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas present our keynote lecture. And tomorrow, Dr. Olson will speak to us about myocardial muscle, differentiation, disease, and regeneration. Well, that will be a terrific, exciting lecture. I'm looking forward to it. Also, this year, there'll be several sessions on stem cells. And as you know, that's a, a very important area of potential therapeutic efficacy, but one that's also controversial. Absolutely, Mark. Uh, we have a number of sessions lined up to talk about bone marrow-derived uh, stem cells, uh, CKIT-positive stem cells, cells derived from bones, and many other types of uh, stem cells. And I think we're going to have the leading experts in the world discuss this and help to define the key issues related to stem cell biology in the heart. Well, I'm looking forward to those sessions as well. And Osa, there will be other really exciting sessions on mitochondria, and metabolism that I think the attendees here will really uh, flock to. Yes. Mark, we have brought in speakers well-known both nationally and internationally. We're going to cover topics on mitochondrial metabolism, as well as uh, the latest and greatest on the mitochondrial permeability transition pore, as well as the MCU. We also have a session dedicated to um, cellular quality control mechanisms in the heart and how defects in these pathways can contribute to heart failure. So you can tell that this meeting here in New Orleans is going to really impart terrific new information to all of its attendees. And it really goes to the fact that the American Heart Association's basic cardiovascular science sessions are really the premier scientific sessions in the world. And not only do we learn important basic science, but we understand the potential for their clinical application and hopefully therapeutic interventions that will improve cardiovascular health for our people and reduce the risk of cardiovascular events. So for those of you who are not basic scientists, I can assure you that the information we're going to hear today is going to have profound importance as we move the field forward.